he has to be arrested. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, I'm going to stop right here. Hands go down. Oh, yes, it's really nice. Are we started? Okay. They give you the sign because I saw this in your back there with you. All right. Who wants to tell me what it means to be arrested? Why don't you guys? Nathaniel, I saw your hand go first. Tell me, real loud, what does it mean to be arrested? That's resurrected. That's close, but not quite the same thing. Mm, let's see. Uh, meaning, meaning, miny, mo. Everybody seems to know. Uh, but yes. Okay. And I, you want to add to that? You get arrested by the cops. You get arrested by the cops? Okay. What? You put the cage. Okay. Sandra, you got something to add? Jail or prison, and you put handcuffs on them, and you say, You have the right to remain silent, and then you get in the cop car. And okay. Well, you want to add to that? Well, it's not. You put in jail. You put in jail? All right, Eric.
that I was being, st I got stopped by the police. I didn't do anything. I was just sitting on, in my car by the side of the road, and he pulled up behind me and he put his lights on. <laughs> No problem with my license plate. You can't park on the side of the road. You might run into something. The truth is, something. and in some cases you're right, Jonathan. In some cases you're right. It's dangerous to park on the side of the road, and they'll and they'll come up and say, "Hey, you can't park here." That wasn't the case in this time. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. He came up and he put his lights on. I, I was kind of wondering why. He stopped me. He said, "You know why? You know why I did this?" No, I don't. He said, "This is a big drug running area. We thought you might be running drugs." Oh. I wasn't. Oh. Did I get arrested though? No, I didn't. However, however, what I did do though is I did everything he told me to do. Even though he was wrong, even though he was wrong, I did everything he told me to do because I knew that if I didn't, then I would get arrested. And I didn't want that to happen. Solomon. You forgot. Sophia, I got a question for you. Well, first of all, before I have a question, I got a question for Aria. Aria, are you going to live? Yeah. Are you sure you're going to live? Okay. I just want to make sure you're going to live. I don't want anybody dying on me here, okay? That would be a bad thing. A lot of people die. This is true. A lot of people die. Sophia, I got a question for you. If I'm a police officer and I'm arresting you and you're just going along with it, okay? You're not resisting. Is it okay if I punch you? No. 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 If I am getting, a, if I am a police and I am arresting you, and you're going along with it, you're doing everything I tell you to do. Is it okay if I slap you? No. 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 If I'm arresting, hang on a second. Aria, are you sure you're gonna live? Yeah. Are you sure you're gonna live? I don't want anybody dying on me here, okay? Dying would not be a good thing. You're too young to die. Just, just clearing that up for you. Noel, if I'm a police officer and I'm arresting you, and I got your hands behind your back and you're in handcuffs, is it okay if I take you? And I run you against the wall? No. No. You better resist an arrest. Who's seen you? Okay, I'm looking around. I'm looking around. I'm looking around. And I got nobody out there that's got a beard. And nobody has got a beard. You have a beard. Harmony! If you're a police officer, and you're arresting me, is it okay if you grab my beard and pull the hairs out? Is that okay? Even that's a Jesus, didn't it? That's actually Matthias, if I'm a police officer, <clears throat> now, Arya, you got me dying over here. <laughs> I just about swallowed the cough drop. <laughs> Matthias, if I am arresting you, and I rub my hand over your hair because there's it's just like a little brush. Is that okay? No, it's assault. No, it's assault. And a pepper too. A salt pepper. Get in. What? Listen. Even when you get arrested, you have rights. And I know people that have got arrested. I know people that are in prison. Me too. And they all have rights. And you know what else? If, now, when I talked about the police officer pulling me over and I didn't do anything, he 
he did not arrest me. He asked me a few questions and he let me go because I wasn't doing anything. But, Solomon, can I arrest you just because I feel like it? No, I can't. You know why? Because you have rights. Now, what does all that have to do with Jesus? Good. Jesus got rested. Didn't have rights. You see, you see, back in Jesus' time, there were some people that had rights, and there were some people that didn't have any rights. Do you know who was in charge of the world when Jesus was alive? When he was walking the earth? Do you know who was in charge of the world? God. God? Yes, but do you know who was in charge of the government? Oh, you know who was in charge of the government? I don't want to eat. You can go back and get her water. So, I don't want to eat. Water goes. I no, Adam and Eve was not. Augustus Caesar, actually, Augustus Caesar was already dead by this time. He died when, he died when Jesus was a teenager. But, because he was, he was Caesar when Jesus was born. But he died when Jesus was a teenager. But yes, kings, okay. I was going to say the same thing. Kings? Uh, we're getting a little low on water cups. There was a group of people that were in charge of the whole world, the whole known world, when Jesus was in his ministry. And they were called Romans. Romans. Now, there were certain people who were called citizens of Rome. Now most of you, most of you in this room are citizens of the United States because not everybody, I don't, I'm not sure everybody here is. Huh? No? No, that doesn't. But there are people living in the United States that are not citizens, but they are allowed to be here legally. Okay. Now, in the United States, if you are a citizen, you have rights. And if you are not a citizen, you still have rights. And the rights that you have are no different than the rights that a citizen has. However, and I should say also, if you are born here, you are a citizen. Who was born here in the United States? Most of you were born here in the United States. Not everybody, but most of you. Most of you were born here. My grandfather was not born here. My one grandfather was not born here. He was born in what is now called Ukraine. Ukraine? That's where he was. Well, back then it was called Russia. Oh, yeah. so, what is now called Ukraine was part of Russia. And you probably heard of Ukraine because it's been in the news lately. Because they're fighting with Russia. But when my, my grandfather moved to the United States when he was 14, actually he was 13. He was 13 years old when he came to the United States. He was 13 when he came to the United States. And he became a citizen. A citizen is a person who it, they have sworn their allegiance to the United States. And you have, there are some rights that you have as a citizen, like for example, you can vote if you're 18. You okay, Atana? You okay? You're not going to die on me either, are you? Hey, okay, stop because saying that. It makes, it makes me sad. I, think that is me. I don't want people to die on me here. She's going to be okay. Oh, stop it. Who was that? Who, who was that? Faker. 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 Jonathan, you faker. 
All right, listen up, guys. Listen up. Here's the deal. Back in Jesus' day, not everybody was a citizen. And if you were a Roman citizen, you had rights. But if you were not, you didn't have any rights. And if you were not a citizen, Isn't that right? The poor 
are the ones who need the blessings of God. And Jesus did nice things for the poor people. And you know what? With the people, Jesus was very popular. They liked Jesus. You know why? Because if you were sick and you went to Jesus, he didn't care whether you were rich or poor. So let's keep that in your mouth, okay? He didn't care whether you were rich or poor. <coughs> Excuse me. It's, it's my turn to die. Dave, I don't want you dying on me here. That would be a bad thing. That would be a bad thing. Setka, Setka, up here, bus. I'm up here, not back there. All right, so <clears throat> no, you you're okay to sit there, but you gotta keep you gotta keep looking up to me, okay? Don't look back that way, okay? Because that's not where your lesson is. Now, if you were a poor pe a poor person, if you were poor people. If you were a poor person, I didn't, and you came to me, and you needed to be healed, I didn't ask, well, let's look at your bank account. Let's look at how much money you got. What can you do for me? Jesus said, no. No. We do good for the poor people. And it's more blessed to bless those that cannot pay you back. And so Jesus did. Now, he was very popular with the poor people. He was very popular, yes. Real fast. <clears throat> well, that's how they showed him in the movie. Yeah, that. <clears throat> that's how they showed him in the movie. <laughs> Yep, that was Judas. That was Judas. Okay, so... So I'm saying all this to say this. The religious leaders were jealous of Jesus. That's why they didn't like him. They were jealous. Jesus was more popular than they were. Because Jesus did good things for poor people. And they were jealous. And so they wanted him out of the picture. He's not doing things the way he's not doing things the way we like it done. And so they thought, well, how are we going to deal with this? I know we're going to take Jesus out of the picture. How do we take Jesus out of the picture? You kill him. You kill him. I know that's messed up, isn't it? All right, I want everybody to say as loud as you can. That's messed up. That's messed up. That's messed up. Thank you. Thank you. That's messed up. That's messed up. That's messed up. But that's the only reason why. Guys, guys, guys. That's the only reason why they wanted Jesus killed because they were jealous of him. They were jealous. They didn't like him because they were jealous. And so when Judas came and said, hey, what do you give me if I deliver him to you? And I said, whoa, hey, this is an opportunity. I'll give you 30 pieces of silver. I'll give you a lot of money if you, if you give Jesus to us. Jesus knew all this. Because the Spirit of God already showed him these things. Now, after the Last Supper, Jesus went out to pray. Now, Jesus knew what was going on. He knew what was about to happen. And he didn't like it. You know, we talked about Jesus going to the cross. Jesus knew what was about to happen. He didn't like it. Can I, can I tell you this? Jesus was probably scared. 
Jesus was probably scared because he knew what was going to happen. <laughs> A lot of people say that he was sweating blood, but actually the Bible said that his sweat was like blood. And so it, a lot of people believe that his sweat was actually blood, but the Bible actually says that his sweat was like blood. In other words, you know, you know how blood drips? Does it does it run like water? It's, it's thick. It runs slowly. Blood doesn't just run like water does. Who's got some water here? I do. I got some water, I do. I got some water here. I got water. Are you going to pour on your arm? I got water. That's okay. That's okay. You see, here's how water flows. Just like that. I can do that because it's water. Okay. No, that doesn't mean that, well, everybody does it anyway, but that doesn't mean that you can do it. A purpose. Did I get some on you? Your blood doesn't flow like that, okay? Your blood's a lot thicker. In this case, his sweat. Now, I'm sweating right now. Yes, That's because I, I am. But his sweat was thick like that. He was intense. He, he was sweating. He was, I'm serious. I really believe that Jesus was afraid of what was about to happen. And he prayed to God. And he said to God, please, Father, let this cup pass from me. Meaning, if this doesn't have to happen, please don't let it happen. But then he said this. He said, nevertheless, Father, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Jonathan, what does that mean? Not my will, but your will be done. You're going to defer to Jordan. Because Jordan's a little smarter than you, huh? What he was saying is, look, God, Father, this is what I want. But I want what you want more than I want what I want. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I want what you want. Yep. And you know what I want, but I want what you want. Yeah. That's what he was saying. He was saying to God, he said, not my will, not what I want to be done, but what you want. Let that be done. And as soon as he was done praying, here come the soldiers. The Judas. And Judas comes up to Jesus and he kisses him because that's how people greeted each other back then. I know. I know. But that's how people greeted each other back then. Okay? We don't do that. We don't do that today, okay? What? You okay? You alright? Sorry. Unless you grew up in my family, because in my family you might get kissed. Seriously. On the lips. My family. My family. Growing up. My grandfather and my 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 uncles. I appreciate that. So today it would be like Judas coming up to Jesus and going, Jesus. Or yeah, Jesus. Or whatever, whatever we all do today, okay? Back then it was, back then it was a kiss, okay? It wasn't a kiss on the lips, okay? No, yeah, like like what you see the French do. That's how they do, and they don't really kiss each other, okay? News flash, news flash. They're not really kissing each other. Okay. Just so you know. But he came up to Jesus and he said, Hail Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus knew what was in his heart. Jesus knew he wasn't being sincere. And the Romans arrested him. Now William, who 
Romans weren't very uh, nice about it, okay? They had swords, and their swords were drawn. They were ready for trouble. When they grabbed Jesus, they didn't do it gently. Noel's foot is not there. Before I back up. I need one of those beepers, you know, that goes beep, 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 beep. Like the big trucks have. Them. That's what I need. So you guys know, I'm getting close here to the end. I need to get going. Look. Now Peter, Peter was ready for action. Out came Peter's sword, and he started swinging. And next thing you know, a guy lost the mirror. Now, here's what the heart of Jesus was like. These guys are coming to arrest him for no reason. And Peter, Peter the tough guy, decided he was going to fight. And he took out his sword and he started swinging. He cuts off the guy's ear. He has a soldier here. Boom, right there. Your ear's gone. And Jesus reached down and he picked up that ear and he put it right back on the man's head and it was healed. Who would do a nice thing like that for your enemies? Jesus would. Guess who else needs to do nice things for their enemies? You do. You do. You do. You do. You do. Whatever it is that you saw Jesus do, you do. Now they took Jesus. And they arrested him. And they punched him. And they beat him. And they slapped him. And they pulled out clumps of his beard, and they abused him. You know what he did? Nothing. He did nothing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It hurt. And then, to make things even worse, real quick. Yes, but he chose not to. And here's why. Because he knew that his blood had to be shed so that we could live free before God. He had a mission. He was there for a reason. And that was more important than his own comfort. Yes, he could have called, he could have called out to God and thousands of angels would have been there at his side to fight for him. Now you guys have seen that video, the um, the video that I play crushing snakes, oh, yeah. and that scene where the angels come down and they just oh, surround. Yeah. Jesus awesome. could have had thousands of angels doing that, but he chose not to, because it was more important for him to die for us. Now to add insult to injury, who has ever gotten into a bougainvillea plant? You know those ones that have the big red flowers? Sometimes they're pink and sometimes they're red. And they grow, they're like big bushes. Obviously, you guys have never gotten into those. Those things have nasty thorns. You ever gotten into a mesquite tree? Yeah, don't they? Or, or, or a palo verde? They're the same thing, except they have a green heart. Nasty. Nasty. Now, when I, so here's what, here's what these soldiers did. They made a crown for Jesus. It was a crown of thorns. Now look, I grew up in the Northeast. I didn't grow up here. I grew up. I'm 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 originally from Pennsylvania, and I grew up in New York. Jonathan, sit down. Huh? 
No, because it wasn't New York City. It was a long ways from New York City. Yeah, I, I lived near New York City when I was in preschool, when I lived in New Jersey. But uh, you keep it up in your mouth, buddy. Keep it in your mouth. Yeah, many times. But, but, back in New York, when we, when we talked about thorns, we talked about rosebush thorns. Now, okay, here's the thing. Like, let's say that this is a rose. Okay, I'm not a good artist. No, we'll, we'll pass. We'll pass. And here's the here's the rose's stem, okay? And this is what the thorn would look like. Now, when those things hit, when those things get into you, they hurt. Okay? If you've got a palo verde or or a uh, mesquite and your branch is like this, you know what the thorn is like? It's like this. It's not a tiny little bitty thorn like on a rose. Yeah, they're big. Yeah, they're big and long. And they stick into you and they hurt. Now, Israel, where Jesus grew up, their climate is a lot like Phoenix. It's dry and it's warm. And they have a lot of the same kind of uh, trees and plants that we have here. And they've got nasty thorns. Yes, sweetheart. Is there water back there? Go see this face. She'll give you some water. They took, they took a bunch of uh, branches with the thorns on them and they wove it into a crown. And they took that crown. They jammed it. They didn't just put it on his head. They jammed it on his head. Huh? Yes, I am. No, I'm trying to hurt you. See, because I pushed down hard, but that's just with my fingers. Imagine if I had thorns, and they would dig into your skull. They would dig into your skull. Uh, right. Imagine if somebody pushed down on it. Next thing you know, your head's going to be bloody. That's what happened with Jesus. They had him up all night. And every t everywhere they turned, they slapped him. And they punched him. And they did all that sort of thing because Jesus didn't have any rights because Jesus wasn't a Roman. You see, when we get arrested nowadays, and some people say, ah, oh, police brutality, police brutality, and it's no joke. Police brutality is wrong. But what we call police brutality today, it was a whole lot worse back then. And Jesus accepted it. Do you know why Jesus accepted it? Because he loved you. Because he loved you. He loved you. He loved you and you and you and you and you. And you. Don't die on me. And you and you, 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 Everyone. Jesus was willing to go through all of that so that you can have life. And that's what I want you to remember. Jesus was willing to be abused. Yes, he could have called on the angels. And he chose not to. He could have been he could have been abused. Or he could have been uh, he could have had all the angels around and let him get ready. But he chose to take the abuse because he knew that he needed to die so that you could live. He knew that he needed to die so that you could live. I want everybody to bow your heads and close your eyes. I want everybody to bow your heads and close your eyes. Father, be 
the account that we read in the scriptures of your arrest was sickening. The things that they did for you, that they did to you, were disgusting. But we are so grateful. Even though you knew it was coming, you still chose to go down that path. Because you knew that you needed to die so that we could live. And I thank you. I thank you because you did that for us. And all the days of our lives, Lord, we want to serve you. And we want to remember in our lives all the time what you did for us. That we would serve you at all times. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Alright, now Miss Faith is getting ready here. Well, she's getting ready. I'm going to find out who. Uh, we've got a lot of people here.